Hey, what's going on guys? It is Mystical Prime, or you can just call me Terran, and this is some Call of Duty Ghost gameplay. And today, guys, I am bringing you gameplay brought to you in part by Razor Bazanka. Link will be down in the description below. He he brought you guys 100% solo AK-12 double chem strike on the map, right? And that is just amazing. You want to know why it's so amazing? It's because he did not get this double KM on strike zone. A lot of the double cams you guys see on YouTube, on other clan channels, and other YouTubers are on Strike Zone. So this gameplay is unique, and because of that, I really think you guys should hit that like button down below. Uh, I think this video deserves 70 likes, guys. Let's try to hit 70 likes for today's videos because this double KM is very impressive. Solo, 100% solo by Razor Bazanka. So please do check him out. His link will be down in the description down below. And just a few statistics about the game before I get into the, my main topic of this video. And just to let you know, the topic I'm going to be talking about for today is actually really interesting. So I really recommend you guys just stay to the end of the video. I have a lot to say. Maybe you can actually learn a thing or two from my commentary. Uh, but for some statistics about this gameplay, it's first of all, it's 100% solo. He used the gun in the AK-12. And the first chem strike was in 3 minutes and 5 seconds. So that is a pretty fast chem strike. And then his second chem strike was in 5 minutes and 24 seconds. So that's like an average pace chem strike. Just in case you guys wanted to know how fast each chem strike was, there you go. Uh, but for today's video, guys, I'm not going to be talking about Call of Duty. I'm not going to bore you guys. Uh, by talking about, oh, my favorite gun in Call of Duty, you know, I'm not gonna bore you, I'm gonna talk about, uh, something that's, uh, it's been on my mind, and, uh, hopefully you guys can learn from it, if you're younger than me, you can definitely learn from this commentary, but if you're older than me, then maybe you can relate to this commentary, because I'm 16 years old, so if you're younger than me, you'll definitely learn something, but if you're older than me, you can probably relate to this situation I'm gonna be talking about, so, I'm in grade 11, right? And uh, I'm in high school still, and when I remember when I when my I still remember my first year in grade nine. Uh, we had an assembly, and my principal uh, he was talking to us, and I remember this this exact phrase. This is the one thing I took out of that whole assembly uh, that our, that our principal gave us the first day of grade nine, and he said uh, to cherish high school and uh, to do everything possible to participate in as many sports teams, as many clubs, make as many friends, be a part of as many of everything that high school has to offer. Just be a part of the school as much as you can because you're going to miss it and you're going to regret it uh, because high school only comes once in your life and it's never going to come back again. And those are the exact words that he said and I still remember that till today. And uh, the reason why I said that, guys, is because just the other day, I thought to myself, wow, high school is almost over. I'm in grade 11, you guys, as you guys know, and one thing that, that, that my principal said in grade 9, oh, is that high school goes by really fast, and you should enjoy it while it lasts. And I, I, uh, <laughs> wow. It, it, trust me, guys, when you're in high school and you reach grade 12, you're going to be thinking to yourself, Wait, what just happened? I'm here now and all those years went by in an instant. I'm in grade 11 and I feel that way right now. And it's, and it's crazy uh, because I actually have a lot of regrets uh, in high school. But I also have a lot of cherished moments because I remember when my principal said to be a part of as many teams as possible, that year in grade 9, I was on every single sports team that my school had to offer. I made the soccer team, the basketball team, the track and field team, the cross country team. Uh, I can't remember what other sports was. I made the basketball team. I made the volleyball team. So as you guys know, um, I'm, I'm kind of a diverse athlete. Uh, I, 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 I excel more in cross country and track and field, uh, but I also hold my own in soccer. I'm pretty good at soccer. I hold my own in volleyball. I'm pretty good. I'm not that good at basketball. I don't know how I even made the team. Uh, but yeah, you know, I made all the teams in my in my in my grade nine year. And that was probably one of my best years in high school uh, because of those few words that my principal said is to be a part of the school. And I was. And I felt like I was. And I was actually nominated as, at, not, I think it was Athlete of the Year in grade 9. I think that's what they called it. They called it the Gold Scorpion Award uh, because our school was called the St. Andrew, our school team was called the St. Andrew Scorpions. So I was awarded the Gold Scorpion Award. And how you get this award 
is by uh, being a part of the most teams in your school and just being the most involved and being the most athletic and stuff like that. So I got that award as along with my other friend Alex. Uh, so um, I'm proud of that, and uh, that's something that I'm probably never gonna forget. I'll probably always keep that with me uh, because and the reason why I got that award is because of the, those few words that my principal said. And I want you guys to understand that high school goes by fast, and I really think that you guys should cherish the moments you have because they're those Losing moments Charlie. won't ever come back. Uh, you, I trust me, you will miss high school a lot, as much as you guys may think you hate it. You're gonna Charlie. miss it, you know. Your friends and everything with the clicks, the people you have crushes Charlie on, Charlie. and these these stupid things you do with your friends in high school. You're gonna miss that. And uh, I'm already missing it right now. And high school's not even over. I still have this year, grade 11 and grade 12. But I'm already feeling like I'm leaving soon. I'm leaving uh, what I'm going to love and cherish for the rest of my life. And uh, one thing that I also remembered is one of my English teachers, he said that uh, life, when you're, you, learn, you learn from your mistakes as life goes on. And you ha you have a lot of regrets as Friendly life goes on, and I definitely do have a lot of regrets. Um, I'm only 16, and I'm already reflecting on my life like I'm dying tomorrow or something. Uh, but it's, it's just I don't know. Uh, I just, I just feel like that um, I'm I'm tr I'm being really careful right now. I want to make sure that I make my high school year the best possible years I can possibly have in my life. Uh, but um, I'm being a little bit too careful about that, but uh, I'm getting a little bit off topic guys, but I just want you guys to understand that I want you to be a part of your school because uh, High school is just it's an amazing experience uh, Especially if you guys are younger than me if you're in grade 8 grade 7 grade 6, maybe uh, maybe even grade 5 if you're that young um, You'll love it uh, all the girls you meet all the teachers you meet <laughs> I love I said all the girls trust me you will love it when you get to high school, trust me. Uh, but it, it's an amazing experience, and uh, I just I regret nothing. I regret a lot. I mean, like I remember in grade nine, I should have studied a little bit more uh, because I was on pace to being given the on the academic achievement award of excellence. I forgot what it was called. It was just. It was just a award that was given to them to the most highest honored students in our in the school, and I was on pace for that. But I think um, I screwed up one of my uh, marks. I didn't. I wasn't able to get that award because of lack of studying. Because I was actually in a relationship at the time, so I wasn't really in one, but it was kind of one. And then I was just having a lot of a really hard times. And that kind of made me lose focus too with the exams and stuff. So one tip I do have for you guys is if you're going to have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, depending if you're a boy or a girl, um, make sure it doesn't get in the way of school because trust me, you may think it won't get in the way, but um, it will. I promise you. But uh, Wow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss it, really. And uh, people say that high school is nothing and that university is where life really begins. So I'm excited for that. Uh, I'm excited to see what what's going to be happening in my life and uh, what's to come. Uh, hopefully, university will be amazing. I heard the parties are great. I'm not much of a party person, you know. I'm not the person that gets drunk all day. I'm like the kind of calm, you know, lively, funny person that you just love to talk to and to just have fun with. So, uh, I think I'll stop the commentary here, guys. I think this will be the end of this video. I think I've I think I've talked long enough, didn't I? So I hope you guys did enjoy this commentary. Uh, it's pretty deep, I think. So uh, if you watch the end of the video, uh, can you guys please just comment down below, um, I love you, Mystical Prime, or I love you, Prime. Something like that. Because I really want to know who the true viewers are of the Razor channel. Just so I can thank you guys in person. Uh, because it takes a lot of uh, time. Out of, it takes a lot of your personal time to watch the end of the video, I think. So if you watch the end of the video, please comment down below, I love you Prime, or I love you Mystical Prime. Something like that with a heart or something. And I'll reply back to you and just say thank you for, just being, for being a great viewer. And uh, yeah, so let's try to hit 70 likes for today's video, guys. Uh, but I'm going to go. Uh, please do check me out. Link will be down in the description down below if you did enjoy this commentary. And check out Razor Bazanka. He's pretty good at this game. And check out our Facebook page, our live stream, and more. Uh, but I'm going to go, guys. I'm Mystical Prime. Or you can just call me Tarrant. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.
strike incoming. Losing A. Friendly SATCOM active. We lost Alpha. Friendly hind incoming. <laughs> 